uh, my name is Ahmed Mushtaq. I am the general manager here at uh, Sahabi. And with me, we have engineer Ahmed uh, Rouhi, who is our very talented full stack developer specializing in uh, React Native uh, at uh, Sahabi. Uh, and our today's topic is something that we have uh, brought uh, and we have brought upon after some brainstorming sessions internally. Uh, we Try, as you know, that we try our best to have uh, regular webinars and uh, actual meetings, but since we are in COVID, so we'll be focusing on webinars. So we had a brainstorming session uh, a couple of weeks ago, and we came up with different ideas, uh, different topics that we should cover in our uh, meetups. And this one ranks the most. And thanks to engineer Ahmed Rohi, he was uh, actually the uh, original uh, contributor to this idea, which is headless uh, browser. A lot of people, uh, I'll, I'll actually admit, a lot of people do not know about this in the deaf community. It's something very new and it is very beneficial. Uh, it can be used in a variety of use cases. So in today's session, we're going to talk about what is a headless browser, uh, how we can benefit from it, uh, is, is it can be, can it be used by everyone? And uh, if we miss anything, please use the Q&A option and we would love to answer your questions, inshallah. So uh, I will give the stage, give the microphone to engineer Ahmed Rohi. So the stage is yours, Mr. Ahmed. Okay, lovely. Uh, first of all, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Salam Alaikum. This is your brother Ahmed. I am a, a full stack developer and I'm specializing uh, React JS for front end side and Node.js for back end development. And okay, uh, we have been like discussing about this one. What, like, what, which topic should we bring out? Something interesting to you guys that uh, you may not know before? It's uh, or something like might be useful to you. Like we we wanted to bring something new and new and useful to all of you guys. And as Ahmed said, anyone is welcome to be asking questions. He will be uh, telling me for the questions you have, and I will be answering, inshallah. So today I'm I'm thinking to inter introduce you guys to a headless browser. And uh, Ahmed, what do you think by like when you hear this word headless browser what what is the thing that gets in your mind first now honestly since i haven't uh, developed that much for a couple of years uh, okay. and as i moved into the tech tech lead uh, role so uh, when i first heard the word the term it actually sounded like something without a mind something <laughs> unintelligent uh, a browser without maybe without a, the uh, top menu bar. So Exa exactly. and other, yeah, yeah, other funny funny things. It, it kinda, it's kinda without brain, but yeah, actually, it has a brain, and that's the most important part of it. You know, what do we mean by headless browser? You know, like browser has this graphical design, uh, this graphical interface where you see where you see like uh, exit buttons, new tab buttons, uh, where you can click on this and that using your mouse and keyboard. And But with headless browsers, you don't have any of this. You cannot do it. Uh, anything manually. All you have to do is coding some code and it will function for you. Everything will be done using functions and codes. And it has uh, some uh, like benefits actually for some testers and it shortcuts some stuff. Anyway, I will be explaining uh, what is a headless browser. It's like a headless browser is a web browser without graphical user interface, which you can be like uh, using it for automating and testing, executing codes, uh, evaluating what's happening behind the scenes and etc. cetera. Okay, uh, before we go on, uh, I'm gonna introduce you to what is like the commands that you can be running for starting a headless browser. This is Google Chrome. Let's imagine this is this is the process for playing a Google Chrome. When you want to run a Google Chrome, you play this uh, this command. You just add some uh, like rules, headless, and telling it disabled the GPU, 
and having the screenshot. You can have screenshots from the browser and you also can make your own PDFs. For some use cases, like you might be wondering like what, uh, how can I be using it? For what can I be using it? In use cases, you can have screenshots, scrap content, automating UI, like testing the validations, the, the input fields and and look and tracking what is happening like behind the scenes of all the all the uh, I mean all the processes that is happening and some of like bad uses you can be using like DDoS attacking which are sometimes used by uh, who's this okay sorry uh, you can be using it for like De destroying some uh, websites and breaking them down by attacking them in requesting for many times to reload in, reload them. Has anyone asked some questions so far? Nobody? We have more attendees uh, coming, so that's the notification you might be hearing. Oh, yeah, I, it's the notification. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so today we will be using some tools which I choose. Uh, I chose uh, 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 Puppeteer, which is a Node.js library that we, we will be coding with JavaScript language. There is a uh, there is another addition from Fabrice. Our okay. friend Fabrice uh, shared his personal use case that he, oh. he can use, use, use this to uh, measure the page speed on, on his website or a remote server uh, without the latency because he will be, he can test it between his PC and and the server nice one nice one that's that's yeah. a nice use case also uh, mm -hmm. thank you what's his fabrice. name again mr fabrice i couldn't hear the name sorry uh, mr <laughs> fabrice yeah fabrice okay yeah. thank you fabrice uh so let's jump into some examples which i'm going to show you now we will start with taking some screenshots this is the like the basic starting for any new js library you should like uh call the library first and, and make it like make a variable for it and then you start a function after starting a function you have to initialize the browser and here with initializing the browser you can be passing some props let, let us go to the code itself okay let me show you this. Is it clear, Ahmed? The screen, is it clear? Yeah, I think you need to zoom in a bit. It's not that clear. Zooming, okay. Let's... So before before we jump into this, uh, uh, mm -hmm. can, can we just uh, have an introduction on Puppeteer? What is a Puppeteer? Or did I miss that part? Because I was just replying to messages. Oh, okay, okay. I'll, I'll repeat again. I, I, I have uh, like states snippets about it but okay i yeah. will make it uh, more like uh, clear you know like puppeteer is a library we have in mm -hmm. Node.js many libraries that you can be using that it's coded mm -hmm. and initialized and all you have to do is like installing a package and then you learn how to interact with it and actually puppeteer has its own documentation that is is well informative let me uh I will be sharing. Uh, I will be sharing the link of the documentation of this mm -hmm. library, so you can be messing around with it and learning mm -hmm. how to deal with this line with this library. Sure. I mean, sure. Thank you. Okay, where were we? Yes, we were in the code. Okay, so let's start from which one do you guys want to see? Let's start by by emulating like uh, uh, devices by emulating devices. Yeah, uh, I didn't mention that. Uh, Puppeteer also has a, a great feature that you can like play uh, play a browser, a headless browser, as a phone. Like you, the the website that you are, that you are entering, it will be like. It will be interacting with your uh, web browser as as it's a phone. Let me play for you guys so might it might be clear. Let's let us take a screenshot of Facebook. 
-hmm. You know, it's happening beside behind the scenes. What is happening is now it started from here. It and it made a new page, and then it emulated the iPhone, the iPhone, the iPhone six uh, uh, port views. And then it go, it went to the Facebook and it showed this. Boom! You see this? You see this? Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is just a screenshot of like one of the use cases. Some you can be using for many cases. Like you can be screenshot some results and many things. But I'm just mm -hmm. showing how it can be emulating. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's let's move on. How like uh, how if we want to search of something on Google and we want to see the result that's happening behind it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the headless so you guys can see how it works, like how it function for you. Okay, mm -hmm. okay let's play this one. Okay. I wanted to ask you one thing here, Ahmed. The you gave a very nice example of taking a screenshot in the previous use case. So can we say that uh, we can automate taking screenshots using command line without opening the browser and then going to that particular page and then then uh, uh, manually taking a, a screenshot? So using this command, we can simply uh use it in our code and pass pass that single command and it will take a screenshot of that page yeah actually you can you can run some uh, javascript code that can be running like infinite infinitely and mm -hmm. it can like be doing all the process you you mm -hmm. wish to do you see like uh, for now I, I will i will replay this uh this example again because mm -hmm. i think you missed it so you see for a... now it we have another. No. Sorry, we have another question uh, from Tosif. He's asking, can we take screenshot of post on Facebook? Absolutely, you can do that at the same time. So uh, you uh, you 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 can do that definitely. Like it's just you have to go to the Facebook website, and then you you start like uh, you have to use the Doom. Let me show you how. This is called the, the Dev Tools. Here, where you can learn how to select select the elements, and then you go to the inputs and simulate the human behaviors of typing. And then it will complete navigating to you as where you want. And then you're sending some. Uh, you can be sending like some. Uh, some commands for screenshotting. You see, as I'm doing here, I'm calling the page and then I'm doing a screenshot with this name. Mm -hmm. As you see, it's showing the result of this, of what's happening here. Like, even mm -hmm. if I'm closing this browser, even mm -hmm. if I am closing this browser and I'm going to close the headless option, you see, we don't have now any, like, I, I will delete this result. See, for now, it's, it will go uh, with its own and write the search, which we get uh, the, the search uh, parameters. It will search for Suhubi and it will show me the last result. You see this picture that is, is coming? Mm -hmm. That's what's happening now. Okay, we have other, uh, we have other like other use cases. You can be using something for, uh, for searching, like we have this website is it's called uh, NPM, which it has the library also a uh, You can find like Puppeteer is there, Puppeteer. You can find it here. We can scrub the content of this website by I do by what's the name of it? Yeah. Okay. See it now. We want a list of the result that is is coming from that website you see it shows me all the result of that search we are searching we are searching on about like react li library and it gives mm -hmm. me all the content of that one i mean mm -hmm. all the result of the search uh, that are foundable on npm so okay. actually i prepared some i prepared one 
automation do you want to try who wants to try to have some likes on his uh, on his uh instagram accounts i can make my own i can yeah <laughs> Who keep needs in mind, some likes? Uh, keep <laughs> in mind the session is being recorded and we are going to upload it on YouTube. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in case you don't want to harm your reputation. <laughs> Who wants to have some likes? Well, you can Is start Instagram. on my I think post. No one. If you don't, if no one, we will go to your account, Ahmed, okay? <laughs> well, there is an interesting question. I'm, I'm not sure if we have reached there. I, I don't think we have reached there, but please uh, let me know. Uh, mm -hmm. Amir has asked, uh, can can we show him some examples of web scrapping and storing data in CS, CSV or SQL format? SQL would be out of this scope, I believe so, but this uh, he, he, he thinks he's, it's very helpful and practical. Sorry, again, can I, I because I missed some part of the questions. Sure, so uh, Mr. Amir uh, Qureshi asked, if uh, we can show him some examples of web scrapping and mm -hmm. uh, st storing data in uh, CSV uh, or SQL uh, format, uh, it will be very helpful and practical. But I think SQL will be out of the scope of this the presentation. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, yeah, yeah, actually, uh, SQL is out of this scope now. Yeah. You can you it's but like you you can you can learn like how to uh, if you have your own local server that is running mm -hmm. you can make some APIs for yourself mm -hmm. that you after scrubbing you see now this is scrubbing we are now we are scrubbing all the doom the doom which is mm -hmm. the elements that are coming with these classes this is called query selector it, it comes mm -hmm. with every like in every browser it's an essential an essential like property so that you can interact with elements mm -hmm. after like you you are getting this result you see now we are filtering or the result here you can make some apis that you you can mm -hmm. send to your local uh to your local server that you made which by any technology even mm -hmm. if it's no js or laravel or whatever mm -hmm. you can send yeah. that uh you can send this in a json format or an array or and it will be like stored in your database definitely mm -hmm. you can do that mm -hmm. Now, Engineer Ahmed, uh, I know you will hate me, but uh, I just uh, wanted to make sure that all the audiences know what is uh, web web scrapping. So, can can we just talk about what is web scrapping or web scrapping one on one very very quickly, Annie? Like, what is the benefit of web scrapping? Okay, I'm, I will do some example. Yeah. I think I will do some example. Do you guys see this screen? Right, you can see this screen. So now. Yeah, for example, you have Are you there, Gina Rahmat? What is happening now that mm -hmm. when you, when I open this page, it sends an API for the for the owner of this content, for the owner of this content, he has some backend teams or some backend server, and it gives me this all content. So I don't have ability to use that API because, you know, like uh, people are uh, like, it's their content and they don't want to share it with everyone. They want to be showing it only on their websites. In, so with web scrubbing, you can be, this is uh, inspecting. Let me show you how to inspect. Oops, oops. Where did I went? Yeah. You see, these are the HTML elements that is coming in every, which we call the DOOM. This is the DOOM, the document object model. Mm -hmm. And here, here there are some sections and elements, you see? Here is the feed cards you want, like, for example, you want to have the name, the titles of every result that you have here. That's what we call scrap. So you, you can scrap everything here, but it's not manual because if you are going to do it this way, you will take like most a month to do this, to take each uh, title and copy and paste each, you know, but you can use 
the DOM. Uh, <laughs> you can use the the DOM uh, elements like query selector, and it will give you the all re result of what is on the on the website. So for for example, let's have this yeah. one. Can you just zoom zoom in a bit? Okay, you can be copying common. it. Actually, it uh, it's becoming now easier since mm -hmm. Google Chrome updated its select all. See now we have. Oops, this is one only. Sorry, let me check again. These are an articles. Let's have the articles. This, this, I don't know why it's not. Why why it doesn't need to be selected anyway? Let me, let me show you how to select like one element, and then you need to figure out to, you need to figure out how to select the the others. You see here, you can you can be using this copy selector to have one element that has this same properties, this same properties, and then you can have the text context. Uh, I mean text content. Inner text is it called? It's not giving me also. I think because I'm not playing this one. Let's go to Instagram, for example. Okay, these are, here th there are some results, as you guys see. Okay, now, for example, you want to have this span, this span, this span's text. We do, you don't need to be copying everything. This will take you like, this will take you like long time to be doing that. So you can be using uh, the, can be using the query selectors and that will help you in like coding uh really i'm losing my english <laughs> okay you can be using uh dom uh, uh interactions to have the text mm -hmm. that are you that are written in you see mm -hmm. like for example now we got all the text is in here so you can be having all the classes and selecting everything from here and having all these, uh, this I mean results. That's what we call like by scrubbing. I'm gonna show you how we can like, uh, Ahmed, I will use your account, okay? Mm -hmm. Sure. I will be giving you some likes on Instagram. Okay. So people follow I, you. I hope. I hope I get famous Hello? after the session. Ahmed? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? I don't know where he, did he left. No, no, can you hear me? Anyway, let's move on. So no, 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 can you, can uh, you hear me? now we're gonna play some automated uh, Instagram, which I wrote yesterday. We'll be having uh, Ahmed's account. We'll be giving him giving him some uh... likes. Let me go through the code. We're giving him some likes. Okay. See, as you guys see, now I'm not doing anything. The browser is acting by itself and it's functioning and it will go to Ahmed's account and it will start giving him likes in each post. Mm -hmm. you see, oh, these are already like let me look for one that is not like here let's try this one oh Ahmed, i'm a fan of you I, <laughs> I gave you too many likes okay now it will it will give some likes ah. um, Ahmed, uh... are you talking because i cannot hear you Hello, Ahmed.
Ah, okay. Ahmed has a problem with his mic. Sorry, guys. I will be moving on. Let's try like another account, such as an Instagram account. If for now, it will be giving some likes on this, uh, in on the uh, all like mm -hmm. all the posts, it will be giving likes and likes, and it will move on. You don't have to press mm -hmm. anything. It will do it for you. Can you hear me? And I think these are some examples of what I want to show you. Such as, and yeah, that's it, guys. Please, if you have any question, you can be asking me. Uh, Ahmed, please tell me if someone has been asking because I cannot see the questions. Can you hear me now? Is it? Ahmed Mustafa is speaking, but. Okay, sorry, can you? Nothing, we cannot hear you. The Giga, can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Hello? Actually, I'm not able. Maybe the problem is within my phone, within my... Because I am not able to hear you, Ahmed. Don't okay. know what's the problem? No problem. No problem. Okay. Let's. Okay. Uh, let's conclude the session. I'm gonna stop the the share screen again. Hello. Is it working? Hello, Ahmed. I can see you, Ahmed, but I, I'm not able to hear you. I'm messaging you. Hello. Right. Yes, can you hear me now? Yeah, no, finally, I can hear you. I don't know what's happening, guys. Like, uh, since when it's it was cut? Did you guys could, could you guys hear me? It was it was funny because everybody could hear me, and I was literally I feel like I was acting like a clown because I was saying hello, hello, and you were not able. To... <laughs> I don't know what happens. Like when I was testing, I don't know. Maybe something broke down. Sorry. No problem. I apologize. No, I, I believe that everybody was able to hear you, and I apologize. I would, I might be disturbing. So, guys, maybe in the last session, uh, it I, uh, things might not be clear. If it was clear, it's fine. If not, we can repeat some stuff. So, do you want us to repeat some some sessions of the uh, some portions of the session? Do you want um, Engineer Ahmed to repeat something? Please let us know in the chat. If you have any questions, feel free to ask here. Yes, please. Okay. I think people are writing. Okay, so Muhammad uh, Balushi is saying, can we repeat the last part? The oh. uh, yeah, the uh, the one where I think the the likes part was the liking part was exciting. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So l let me explain the code like you you guys might want to mess with it, you know? So you, for, first think, of all... Can you share your screen too? Because uh, I think you're... It's not sharing? Okay. Yeah. What about now? Yes, we can see it now. Okay, that was an example of liking some accounts. I will be showing you like how to also can be using it for liking some uh, hashtags. You can be having some hashtag like let's let's assume that we want to give likes for all the content of this hashtag, which is no JS. Like for for example, okay, we're we're gonna play this code okay. and. Um, 
Mm -hmm. See, now my browser is acting by itself and it's writing everything for me and it will go to that hashtag to navigate to this website and it will start giving likes. As you guys can see, I'm not, I'm doing like, I'm doing nothing. It's working by its own. And here is, here is the code. I can be sharing this with you guys if you would love to play with it. And I will give you the the document of uh, puppeteers so you can so you can also like learn how to do with it and i will give you oh yeah i didn't mention that sorry 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 i didn't mention that anyway guys if you don't if you are uh I, because you know some python developers they will get mad at me because they will be like attacked why we don't have any library that can be working with python but don't worry, like I have some uh, interesting tools for you. The, there is a tool that's called Selenium. And actually this is well known for the Python developers. It, 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 they can be scrubbing, they can be do everything as you can do with Node.js and uh, I mean uh, puppeteers. And okay, I will, I, I will upload my codes. I will share it with you guys so you can mess around and you can also search more about it. And there is, a, uh, I will show you the documents where you can find the documents and learn how to deal with popular. This is, this is the official websites of this tool. You can be learning like how to start, how to initially install the, the tool you need uh, b before before you can install this tool, you have to install something called Node.js. This is the website of Node.js. Actually, it's very powerful, like uh, library for all JavaScript parts. You can be using it for everything, for for any coding. Even now, I think there are many big companies such as uh, Instagram, Netflix. They are like converting their uh, own backend to be using Node.js. And that's like very imp interesting and it's giving it a uh, good reputation. Here, and there are some examples that you can play around with it. You'll be, you will be like, uh, actually it's fun, you guys. You guys, you have to try this one. You have to play around and I will publish my my own examples to you guys i think also this one it might be very interesting to all of you since it can be logging in uh you should uh make here in the secret file i'm not gonna open it because it has my password and username so you can only change the username and password and it will do everything by its own and you can play around with it you can have fun Okay, I just uh, posted another poll to everybody uh, if they have any questions. Uh, okay. I think everybody has uh, seen the poll and uh, we can expect two more questions, Ahmed. Uh, there are two, uh, uh, two among the audiences. They will send, uh, they will sharing our, their questions right now. And we have one uh, from the audience who would uh, who would send us a, an email uh, later. So right. I'm going to share your email here with everybody. Uh, Ahmed, can you please use the QA Q and A option and share share your email on the left side? My email where it? Yeah. Your your official email, so they can contact you later okay uh, i'm gonna write it here okay and uh, and those who have uh, requested to post another question in the q a feel free to uh, send it before we conclude the session and we would love to answer your questions Okay, so we have a question from uh, Mr. Amir uh, for uh, for Instagram or other social media accounts. 
liking can we use multiple accounts to like someone's post uh you 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 might be like after uh liking by each post uh post you can uh, log out as because you have the full control of your browser that's what i mean by all this ex explanation you see mm -hmm. you have uh, like full full control you can go to the you can select the login you can go to the logout you can write the username you can change and it will not be detected by instagram because you are you are acting the same as a human behavior uh, the same as like a human's behavior in the browser he can log in like nothing is uh uh fishy in your in your uh, in your coding you have to give yourself some times to start like understanding how doom how doom works and what's the uh like what's the link uh, i mean how to interact with doom using javascript and classes and names you know you have to have some knowledge of uh HTML, like some basics of HTML and JavaScript. So you can be like starting playing with this. Okay, here is my email. Uh, guys, anyone can, uh, I mean, like, feel free to email me with anything. I'm here uh, to. Like, it would be better. It would be better if you, you can post this in the chat or send me my uh, WhatsApp. I can. Okay. And, no, don't open because, I, because I don't have the <laughs> I don't have the chat. It's not shown for me. Uh, I think you just need to open the Chrome uh, browser, and okay. you will be able to see. Yeah. Where, where is it? Is it in Q A? Yes, Q and A. Yes. Okay, guys. This is my email. These are my emails. You guys can contact with me anytime. Would love to help or assist any one of you. Perfect. Perfect. Sorry, sorry. The the next one is not at iCloud. It's <laughs> that way. I mixed the v dot s a. That one. The next one is with iCloud. It's not working. It's not even my email. Things just got missed. Perfect. Thank you, uh, everyone, for taking the time to attend this uh, wonderful session by Engineer uh, Ahmed Rouhi. Ahmed, uh, thank you so much uh, for your... Uh, and actually, uh, I would love to apologize for some of the mess that happens uh, from my side. Sorry. No, no, no problem at all. It's part of every... It is, uh, it's normal. Uh, guys, you have the email. Feel free to uh, contact us if you have any uh, questions regarding this session. And uh, we have your emails, so I'll be sending you the recorded version of this session after I upload it on YouTube. Uh, feel free to share it with others. And uh, great, yeah, thank you so much, Yanni. I'm, I'm really happy to, to be part of the session. All right, thank you. Okay, guys.